excited to go and I'm here to take you through your basic math series. What is the basic math series? It is uh, the series up into spine stretch forward. Um, so we'll be doing your 100, your roll up, your roll over, single leg circles, rolling like a ball, your single leg stretch, your double leg stretch, and spine stretch forward. Um, and those are it, that's your basic series to be done daily. So let's start standing at the top where your foot strap is. And you want, I place my heels together, my toes apart, and then go ahead and rock back and forth and try to put all your weight on the center of your feet. So you feel the ball of the foot, the entire heel, and that helps you use your seat. You're gonna bring your arms up in front of you. This should be really active. If someone were to, someone were to come by and try to pull me forward, I wouldn't let them. So I'm pushing one hand, I'm lifting the other, I'm feeling my entire back lift my posture up nice and tall as I keep my feet well grounded. So from there, I'm gonna lift my center up, lift my sternum, lift my head, and then cross one leg in front of the other and keep that lift going as I lower to the mat. All the way down, slide back and stretch out, and that is all part of your 100. So my arms are reaching up and back so I can ground my middle back and my waist. I'm gonna point my toes and keep my legs right where they are as I curl up for the 100. So this is a great place to start. Pull your center in and try to step up your legs. Your arms are pumping rigorously to challenge your center. You should be stable and zipped up through the front. If you're able to keep your low back down, you can lift your legs six to 12 inches or wherever you can, keeping the connection to your whole body. So I'm breathing in through my nose and out through my nose. As I get longer, everything pulling in through the center and reaching out in opposite directions. Here, you've got about three more to go. You also want your shoulder blades to be anchored. You don't want to curl too high, you want that length. So keep the shoulder blades, the tips of them on the back and pull your center up to them. And then you're gonna stretch out of it and keep exhaling. We're gonna roll up, place the strap around the ankles, grab your dowel, your hands should be shoulder width at least, maybe wider. We're gonna flex our feet, open the front of the hips, feel your seat engaged when you hold on to that strap and keep it taut. So we're gonna lengthen the arms up and back from the waist and we're gonna roll the spine through. I'm directing the crown of my head towards my feet. I'm pulling my center in for three. Three stretches at the top to help you find your ultimate reach. So at the top is where you let go of tension and you press the legs down and forward, reach the arms forward from your waist and reach, reach further, reach your most. And roll back. And roll. So you wanna do about four to five. We do one more for good measure. Stretch the legs away, stretch your arms away. I'm reaching up into my bar as I pull my middle down all the way. Place the dowel down. We'll use your dowel that's on the top. If you don't have the Contrology mat or a dowel at the top, you can place your arms beside you for this one. Make sure that your whole back is connected to the mat. You don't want your shoulders to roll in. You want them wide on your back and you don't want to lock out at the elbows. So keep that in mind if you're doing this variation. If you're using the dowel, you want to reach up into it from your middle back. So feel that middle back lengthen up and away as you reach into this wooden bar and then you're stretching the rest of you away. So you're getting longer to lift your legs. They're going to go up and over 
There's lots of variations. I feel like this is the best one for me. I'm gonna open and roll down. It keeps the focus on my back. So I'm pushing my shoulder blades and head down. I'm well anchored as I open and roll. One more. Open and roll. Now we reverse. We're gonna go over, squeeze, zip up the legs, and really get each bone to articulate down. I'm gonna push my heels into the mat so I feel that connection to my whole back as I reach the legs away from center, up and over. Zip at the top and roll. Make sure you're reaching into the dowel from the back, not your shoulders. All the way down. We're gonna come up, put the strap over both feet, roll down. You have some choices here. You can just use your strap. You can just use your dowel. Sometimes using both can feel like you're tensing as you do your single leg circles. You want these things to assist your stretch. I'm gonna use both. I can feel like I'm able to lengthen my back ribs onto the mat by reaching up and keeping the strap taut. So we're gonna make full circles. They go across, down, around, up, and hold. So this is not leg work. You're lengthening your back as the leg moves. And you circle five times in each direction. Challenge the length of your back. I definitely feel as if I'm growing taller as I push the leg away. Four and five. But it is constant, I am constantly reminding myself that this is not a leg exercise, that my spine is lengthening in both directions as the leg moves freely. Four and five. And keep perfecting that circle. It really helps with anything. Um, it also loosen the hip and the low back. I feel like we all have a little tightness in our hips and our low back these days. And come up to rolling like a ball. Grab the ankles, look into your center. Again, the crown should be forward, just like it was for your roll up. So we're gonna pull the legs in, pull your center away from your thighs for this entire exercise. So you wanna go back to the shoulders and up. Keeping this shape. So I lean forward slightly and pull my stomach back to take off. And then I keep that reach forward of my spine to come up. I'm gonna go on to your back for your, for your single leg pull and your double leg pull. And pull your right leg in, hand on the ankle, outside hand on your ankle, always like you're giving yourself a hug. And then the inside hand on your knee. This is just like this exercise. So keep those legs connected, reaching them towards the center. Pull, 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 pull. You pull the knee towards your shoulder. You lengthen the low back. You pull your center in deeper. This is not arm work. Pull from the middle. From here, we'll go to double leg. So we're gonna reach, pull the center in, lengthen the back as you pull. So I'm pulling my heels to my tailbone and I'm reaching my tailbone to my heels. Reach. Pull in. And then come up. First time, stretch forward. Place the heels on the corner of your mat if you're about my height, which is five foot. If you're taller, then use your boxes. You just want to make sure that you don't feel a lot of hip. You want the focus to be on the length of the low back. So you want to extend, open your legs a width that allows for you to lift up and then feel a lengthening down of your low back. So we're going to place, place the hands beside you to establish the reach of your legs. It's totally fine to have bent legs, but you want to feel a lengthening down into your mat as you lift up tall. 
And then you can challenge your center and push your legs further away. All ten toes are up. This is a variation you can do. You're going to reach forward, drop the crown of your head to between your knees. Lots of pull in of the middle. And then come back up. This is another variation. You want the whole hand down, and you want the hands side by side. That's a lot. You can start by stacking the hands, lifting the chest, finding that up before you go forward. So again, this is not a leg exercise, it's an arm exercise, but lengthening the back, pulling the middle in, and directing the crown of my head between my knees. Then we're gonna pull up, starting from the bottom, Working your way up the spine, lifting the sternum and the top of the head nice and tall. One more time. Let's do two more, actually. Go forward, pull that little in, in, in. So I'm pushing my legs further as I go forward. And then I'm going to push my legs even further to lift up. Stretch the legs away. All the way up. Time. See if you can get the top of the head to between your knees someday. Hey, there's your basic mat series. Enjoy to be done daily. Thank you for watching this Contrology video.